Loughborough University, a world-renowned institution producing top-class athletes with 40 consecutive years as Bucks champions, constantly striving to redefine sporting excellence. And now, there is a new challenge on the agenda. We want to become the university leader in cycling. I'm Dr. Dave Nichols, I'm the cycling programme manager at Loughborough Sport. We want to be pushing the boundaries of cycling for university students. It's about raising the profile and reputation of Loughborough Cycling on an international um, and national stage. So we have pretty lofty ambitions for the team. So the support that Loughborough Sport brings to the table of performance sports is astronomical. It's SNC, nutrition, psychology, sports science, physiotherapy. We really have access to everything that Loughborough offers on this campus, so it's really a well-being facility. The performance squad has come to the Derby Velodrome for pre-season training. This week's really more about skill sessions, technique development on the track. When it comes to bucks and buck selections, we can pick any of our riders and put the strongest into any combination to make them ride faster as a team. The objective of the team now is every single year we win bucks, we establish ourselves as the leaders, and that is the deep approach going forward. Come on, come on, come on! started at Loughborough Uni summer camp this August so I've probably done less than 20 sessions on the track since then but yeah it's been good fun actually this will be my first Bucks track and actually my second Bucks cycling event so I did the team time trial back in March last year but before that I was triathlete so um, I'm looking forward to donning the Bucks cycling calendar I'm not really used to racing two days in a row the number of events that are going on is it's a packed program at Bucks. I think it'll be maybe quite hard mentally to try not to focus on all the racing around me and just focus on what I'm doing. I'm part of the new Loughborough Cycling Academy. My favourite race is probably points race. I enjoy the points race because of how hectic it is and just everyone everywhere, riders strewn across the track because you don't know where anyone is, what laps anyone are on. You've got to keep track of the scoreboard, riders taking laps, taking sprints, it's quite a tactical game. The altitude chamber we have here, sort of having access to it for our cycling team is a huge benefit. My name is Steve Harris, I'm the physiologist for Loughborough Sport. In our performance lab we have an altitude chamber that allows us to change the composition of oxygen and other gases in the air to be able to simulate altitude. 
what we had people doing in there was doing really intense sprints, so really super maximal stuff, work in a refined oxygen deprived environment which stimulates their muscles to become more and more efficient at producing power in that absence and really develop that anaerobic capacity for them to perform. Yeah, everything becomes a lot harder because you can't recover quite as well because you're not able to get as much oxygen back in. Your legs will feel more tired. It will feel like you've almost got that burning sensation a lot more. So towards the end, obviously the guys got a lot more confident. We were ramping up the number of sets, reducing the amount of rest to make sure that we're progressively um, so developing the guys and pushing them harder each session. There's the aim in my head and then there's the aim that I'm going to express to people and they're, they're slightly different because there's always that fear of underachieving and not getting what you want. Hello, I'm Scott Quincy and I am a cyclist for Loughborough University. So I competed last year at Bucks Track and I turned up sort of as unprepared as you could be for an event considering it wasn't really a major target and it went okay. It went, we, had, we had ups and downs. <laughs> the, the team pursuit was okay and then the points race was, was average. I think I came fourth in the end which is a shame just off the medals but it, 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 was, it was okay. I am going to be much more prepared this year. That's all I can do really. If I turn up prepared then I've done my job. <laughs> I will be doing the individual pursuit, the team pursuit, the elimination race and the points race. What makes me nervous is when I think about, have I prepared enough? Have I done the right things? Am I able to actually win? And I sort of get over those nerves shortly before the event because I start telling myself that I am. That's why I've been training and I've done the best I can do and being nervous is not gonna help. It's not gonna help me win. <laughs> but better just be calm and just do the best I can. This year, the Bucks Track Championships are being held in Manchester. start to finish it's, it's just been the best experience um, and just learning a whole new facet of the sport has just been yeah in, in, incredible and extremely rewarding and I can't wait until next year. This year saw an excellent start for the newly established performance squad winning the overall Bucks Track Cycling Championships and setting new records in the process. Their dominant team performance saw them collect 16 medals proving the dedication and commitment to the training program set out by specialist staff and coaches at Loughborough University. These achievements are the perfect foundation to build upon for future sporting excellence.